Nolagen here at Charles Seafood. Get stuff in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nolagen. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Travel Vlog, feast with me on some New Orleans seafood as we enjoy grilled redfish, barbecue shrimp, char grilled oysters, fried oysters, po' boys, and a cheeseburger at Charles Seafood for a restaurant review video. Charles Seafood is located in the New Orleans suburb of Harahan at 8311 Jefferson Highway, which is about 22 minutes and 12 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. I've visited this place many times in the past when it's had different owners through the years. This is my first visit with the current owners, so I look forward to experiencing how this place is going to be under the new ownership. We're going to be enjoying multiple meals here as there's so many good things on offer. I had to sample a good selection to do a good review of this place. Now they did have outdoor seating right here, but I didn't see anybody sitting outside during any of my visits that I made during my review process. Of course, it was cold during all of my visits and rainy on this visit, but let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So like so many places, they do have a placemat with their name on it. This restaurant got its start back in 1951 and was named Charlie's for the entire time that I've been eating here until the current owners changed the name to Charles Seafood in 2014. They have some screens with menu items on it and the specials listed are char grilled oysters, raw oysters, royal red shrimp, soup of the day, gulf shrimp, and soft shell on bun with a cup of gumbo. They also had a whole lot of fresh crabs that look fantastic here. Here we are looking back at the entrance we came in at, and then when we get to this area, there's two separate dining rooms. We've got the Creole room right here, which is a bit of a narrower room, and so we've got some tables and chairs there. That door on the left will take you to the other dining room, as well the entrance right here. So this is the main way to get into the other upper dining room. And so you've got a few more tables and chairs in there. On the tables, you've got a boat full of condiments to choose from. And we've also got to check this menu out now. So we have appetizers with alligators nest, cheese sticks, onion rings, spinach and artichoke dip, boudin balls, salads with side salad, Caesar salad, traditional fried or grilled chicken salad, fried or sauteed shrimp salad. Then you have a choice of dressings, then we have our soups with a seafood gumbo copper bowl and stuffed artichoke copper bowl. Next we have seafood served with a house salad or coleslaw, stuffed shrimp, charlie platter with catfish, oyster shrimp, stuffed crab, toast, a cup of gumbo and fries, Charles Acadiana, capellini pasta topped with crawfish or shrimp and our creamy Acadiana sauce, black and gold, a black and redfish filet seasoned to perfection served with vegetables, a shrimp platter, gulf shrimp fry golden brown, fried catfish platter, stuffed crab platter, oyster platter, Louisiana oyster seasoned and fried. Sides, french fries, hush puppies, vegetable of the day, potato salad, coleslaw, sweet potato fries, jambalaya grits. On the other side of the menu, we have house specials, served with a house salad or coleslaw, spaghetti and meatballs, chicken parmesan, certified Angus beef pot roast, Dixie strips, hamburgers, Charles old fashioned hamburger, Cajun shrimp burger, hickory smoke burger, toppings, bacon, pepper jack, American cheddar, Swiss provolone, beverages with soft drinks with Coke products, bottled soft drinks, iced tea, coffee, and lemonade. Then we have specialty sandwiches with voodoo shrimp, pan sauteed barbecue shrimp on a po' boy, colonial club, traditional club with applewood bacon, ham, turkey, American cheese, dressed and served on wheat berry bread along with fries, Viola Special Homemade Meatball served with our red gravy and melted mozzarella cheese on toasted po' boy bread. Sandwiches, Harahan traditional po' boys dressed, roast beef, ham, turkey, traditional seafood po' boys dressed, catfish, shrimp, oyster, original muffalata, Nola muffalata with roast beef cooked to perfection and debris gravy, Big Easy muffalata with catfish, oyster, and shrimp on our muffalata bread, Desserts, chocolate supreme cake, bread pudding, cheesecake, pecan pie. I had a fantastic lunch with their Angus pot roast, so I have to assume all their other roast beef items would also be great. Now we're gonna sample their seafood gumbo. So let's uh, give a little Tabasco hot sauce treatment to it 
As you know, I do like to kick it up a little bit. There's a decent amount of rice on here, but not too much. And we'll uh, give it a little stir around and see what all is in here. Looks like there's quite a generous amount of seafood. So we're certainly gonna be able to have a good meal to start off with this cup of gumbo. Ooh, so there's definitely some nice sized shrimp in here. Lots of good chunks of seafood indeed. All kinds of wonderful things. So we can definitely see there's a nice thick roux here and it certainly is a stout, very nicely prepared gumbo with plenty of good flavors in here. And there's a little okra there coming out. So some good ingredients for a good old style traditional gumbo. Nothing uh, reimagined here, just the way we like it. But just like I totally destroyed this cup of gumbo, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this gumbo. While you're down there, would you kindly check out links to my Patreon accounts? I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Okay, here's the salad that comes with every entree you get pretty much here. So it's just got kind of your basic iceberg lettuce with some cherry tomatoes on it. I got the balsamic vinaigrette dressing and it's a decent, nice little salad, a good way to start your meal off. So this is the only uh, time we're gonna actually show you me eating the salad and the several more meals that we're gonna be consuming here because we definitely had quite a lot of feasting that happened in this event of getting the review all together for Charles Seafood because they have a lot of great food here, of course. Now, you know, salad is always a nice little thing to get yourself started. It's a nice little refreshing way to get your taste buds primed up. Now here we go with the last bite of the salad. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this salad, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I uh, get ready because there's a whole lot more delicious food to come. Now my dining companion got the oyster po' boy and you know what that means. I'm stealing an oyster. So my entree for this visit was the black and gold, which is a black and red fish, which I have to say looks pretty darn fantastic here. It looks absolutely perfectly cooked. It smells amazing. And it came with a side of vegetables, which just kind of looks like a standard veggie medley. So nothing uh, all that special about the side, but this fish, ooh, 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 let's see. Oh yes, absolutely perfectly cooked very juicy, flavorful inside, and a nice amount of blackening season on the outside. So, good balance of flavors, exactly the way I like it. So, no complaints about anything here. I mean, uh, you could certainly kick it up a few more notches if you poured some crawfish etouffee over it, or some other kind of sauce. But just by itself like this, it is plenty delicious and good. Mmm, this is certainly a good meal to have. Oh, ho, ho. I'm getting a little sad now, though. Here we are with the last bite of the fish. And now we're going to have to eat our veggies. So here we go. So it's got what, a little cauliflower here, some carrots and broccoli. So we're gonna make sure we're getting our cruciferous vegetables to keep ourselves healthy. And the carrots, of course, are supposed to make me have better eyesight, right? So, mmm, gotta get all my healthy veggies in for the day. All right, got one more little bite of the veggies. I'm not gonna eat all that bread there. I've gotta watch my finger, you know? So, just like I've totally destroyed this black and gold, black and red fish, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this red fish. While you're down there, make sure to check out links to my Patreon account. I do work for tips, so I appreciate any help with that. Now it's dessert time, and ooh, look at this. This is the Chocolate Supreme Cake, and oh, this thing looks extra chocolatey amazing. Ooh, ooh, ooh okay. This is uh, gonna be a very wonderful experience if it passes the taste test, hopefully. And oh, yes, it's just an explosion of wonderful chocolatey flavors, and it is so just chocolatey delicious on many levels. There's uh, some chocolate on the outside, and then each of these different types and flavors of chocolate 
are combining into an extra chocolate and it's like little chocolate chips all on the side here. Ooh, it's like multiple textures and flavors and types of chocolate that really go together to make for a fantastic experience. Now, this is the last bite of the chocolate cake and I might have to lick the plate, it's so good. Oh my goodness, this has <laughs> been a really good piece of cake. I'm gonna be sad to see the last piece go. Oh, goodness. Oh, so just like I've totally destroyed the Chocolate Supreme cake, destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this cake. And while you're down there, make sure to check out that Patreon account. Thank you. Now, the total for this meal with two people eating was $49.78 before tip. Okay, so the oyster that I borrowed from my dining companion was so good, I had to go and get my own plate of fried oysters because these things are huge and fantastic looking. And the last one I had was so delicious, I'm gonna have to just dig in here and oh, yes. Still as delicious as the one I had before. I think even a little better than the one I had before. These are amazing. Now let's try the French fry here. Looks perfectly fried, and it is. Nice and crunchy on the outside. A little bit of uh, flavor on the outside. So very nice French fries. And here we go with the last fry. So that was an absolutely perfect serving of oysters and French fries. So just like I've destroyed all of this, destroy that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And make sure to check out that link to my Patreon account. I do work for tips and I appreciate it. So this meal for just me before tip was $35.48. On my next visit, I tried one of their soups of the day, which was a cabbage soup. And it really looks pretty darn good. So let's dig in here. Ooh, mm, it's got some really good uh, aromas coming out of here. Lots and lots of good things in here, so let's give it our first taste, and ooh, wow. This might be one of the best cabbage soups I've ever had, I have to say. This is, uh, I got a whole lot of flavor in here. Mmm, this is uh, very enjoyable. So I definitely am having a really good experience with this cabbage soup, and uh, I'm kind of sad it's only a special and not on here all the time. So just like I totally destroyed this cabbage soup, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below let me know what you thought about this soup. And make sure to check out that link to my Patreon account while you're down there. Next, we've got the Voodoo Shrimp, which is barbecued shrimp on a po' boy. Oh, 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 look at this thing. This is uh, quite a hefty looking po' boy. I got some nice gooey gooey cheese on there too to make it even more delicious. Mmm, so this toasted bread and the barbecue shrimp and the cheese are all really going together to make for a very delicious experience. And I'm having a really uh, delicious experience with each and every bite. I'm having just, mmm, I mean the crunchiness of the French bread along with all of the wonderful buttery goodness of the barbecue shrimp really make for a great combo and that cheese helps keep a lot of it glued together so it doesn't become a disaster and go all over the place so that's a pro tip if you remember to get cheese on your po boy it helps keep it glued together better in my experience so uh your experience could vary especially with a roast beef po boy those can get really sloppy but the cheese typically is always something to make it stick together better now, look at all these shrimp. I've still got to go back. I've got a little third meal to sample here. So, mmm, oh, ho, ho, another little snacky snack time here. Mm. Now, these are uh, not the largest shrimp. They're good uh, smaller types of shrimp, but they're very full of flavor. So, you know, Pascal's Manali will give you much larger barbecue shrimp. Uh, but for a po' boy, this is a perfectly fine size for the shrimp. Just like I totally destroyed the shrimp po' boy, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this uh, po' boy. While you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. So the total before tip for just me at this meal was $31.03. They don't offer a side of onion rings, just a huge appetizer here. So they look so good when I saw other people eat them. I just had to bite the bullet and get this huge order. So I had a whole lot of onion rings to go into a uh, to-go box because there's no way I could eat all these by myself. And I really enjoyed the ones I ate. But wow, I was eating onion rings for days. Now, here we go with the burger I got. Uh, you can see it's kind of burned there on the meat. Uh, this burger is not 
the best experience, I have to say. Everything else at Charles Seafood was absolutely amazing and fantastic. This burger, I have to say, uh, was a big disappointment. The uh, burger was just burned. It just was not, not at all juicy, very overcooked. Um, the structural integrity, at least, you could say, stayed together pretty good. Let's try some of this potato salad here. So, um, this is actually pretty darn tasty potato salad. And it's got some good flavors to it. Now, I have all these onion rings to eat as well, so uh, it's going to be really hard for me to finish the potato salad, though. I was able to finish the burger off pretty fast, and the only good thing I can say about it is the structural integrity held together well. So just like I've destroyed this burger, destroy that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you thought about that burger, and while you're down there, it'd really help me if you check out that link to my Patreon account, as I do work for tips, and I appreciate it. Now, the total for this meal was $31.08 before tip. I enjoyed my other oyster experiences here so much, I had to get the char-grilled oysters. Ooh, look at these. Mmm, oh, the aroma of this is absolutely amazing. This is such a beautiful looking oyster and it tastes delicious as well. Oh, ho, ho. these are really just nicely prepared. So much good flavor. Nothing quite like just a wonderful, delicious char-grilled oyster. Mm. Oh, I feel so, so happy. So just like I've totally destroyed these oysters, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you thought about these oysters. And while you're down there, make sure to check out thanks to my Patreon account as I do it for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Next, I had to try out their spaghetti and meatballs because they say it's one of the house specialties. So you gotta try that, right? This is a really large, impressive looking meatball, and this red gravy looks quite impressive. Ooh, all right, here's our meatball tasting. And hey, I gotta say, this is really good meatball. Uh, let's try the pasta now. So there's definitely a lot of spaghetti here and two meatballs to take down. It's a lot of work ahead. And oh, okay, so perfectly al dente pasta. Sauce is all good. And here we are, I'm down to the last bite right here. So I've taken down a lot of food today. Here we go. So just like I've totally destroyed the spaghetti and meatballs, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below, let me know what you thought about the spaghetti and meatballs. While you're down there, I really appreciate it if you check out that link to my Patreon account. I do it for tips and I appreciate any help with that. So the bill arrived and the total before tip was $37.68. So thanks so much to everybody at Charles Seafood for a lot of fantastic food. Other than that burger, please work on that burger. Everything else was amazing. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagen channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you would so kindly take a moment to share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. And then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.